video, I'm going to show you how to make this really awesome reindeer topiary using items from Dollar Tree and Walmart. Now, I usually do not have supply lists in the description boxes of my video, but because I used a lot of items in this, I am. So check down there for the list of supplies. At the end of the video, I was still, you know, just playing around with decorating it, and I decided on um, just adding a few little cinnamon sticks there, and then I took a piece of the potpourri and some red twine and wrapped around his neck. And that's what I've got. I hope that y'all enjoy it. There are also a lot of breaks in this video, but there's a lot of steps. So hang tight and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, let's get started with this. First off, I have a lot of supplies here. Well, I don't need that. I have a lot of supplies here and I don't normally put supply lists in the description boxes of my videos. I have my own reasons for doing that, so I don't do it. But for this one, because there's a lot of stuff and it's not your typical Dollar Tree items, I will put a list down below, so please look in the description box, and I'll try to pin a comment as well. So first off, you're going to need one of these big glittery reindeer thingies, hangers, signs, whatever, from Dollar Tree. I got a lot of stuff here. Bear with me. You're also going to need one of these little yard sign stake things from Dollar Tree. We're only going to be using the stick on this. Yes, you can use a dowel rod if you want to, but because this is flat, it's going to work out a lot better for this project. You're going to need one of these plastic flower planter type deals. This is from Dollar Tree. You can get them at Walmart. You could use a terracotta pot if you wanted to, but if it falls over, it could break. And these plastic ones are not going to break. A few bags of this floral moss from Dollar Tree. I'm not 100% certain how many bags I'm going to use of this because it does expand when you open it. I have three bags, but I probably won't use that much. We'll see here in a little bit. Let's get this out of the way. And I just picked up a few things to use as decorations. My Dollar Tree now has these wooden stems that just looks like branches that somebody sawed into pieces and now they're putting them in bags and selling them. Um, these like wicker ball decorations. Some of this natural tie. You're going to need something to weigh down your flower pot. You can use rocks, whatever you want to use. I just happen to have a ton of these little glass pebble things. You can get these at Dollar Tree, but you use whatever you want to use. Like I said, rocks, you know, crushed up pieces of brick, whatever you have. You can use whatever. And I got some of this really pretty... What is this? Potpourri. That's the word I'm looking for. Potpourri from Walmart. This was right at $3. That is pretty inexpensive for this big bag and it smells like cinnamon. I love cinnamon. And the thing with this is once the smell starts to dissipate, you can get some essential oil or just fragrance oil and pour some over this stuff and it will refresh it just like that and it will smell good all over again. You're going to need a can of this foaming insulation. You can get this at Lowe's, Home Depot. I got this at Walmart. It was really cheap. It was like two, I want to say it was two forty nine. dollars Might have been two ninety four. dollars It was two something and it was under $3. <laughs> so this is a 12 ounce can and this was about 50 cents less than the other main brands that they have there. That's also cans of the same size. It's made by GE, which is why I got this. Price, cost effective. This paint from Rust-Oleum, this is a hammered type paint, but you can use whatever color paint you want. We're going to be using this to paint our flower pot. Now, you're also going to need a glue gun and glue sticks. With that being said, I'm going to take this little plastic pot. I'm going to clean it really well on the outside and on the inside with some rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to paint it with this paint and make sure that it is dry 100% before I start to use it for our base. Now, what we're going to do is, ah, we're going to fall out of our chair. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get our little, our dear little deer here. Our dear deer here, dear deer, whatever. Anyway, we are going to cover him with this floral moss. But before we do that, we need to glue a stake onto him because this is what is going to support him inside of our flower pot. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to break this sign off just like that and now you can use that for a wreath or whatever and I'm going to take this and I'm going to hot glue it right about here 
Another good reason with this being flat is when you start to cover it with the moss, it's, it's really going to cover up well. If you have like a big round dowel rod, then it's going to, to stick out and you're going to have a big lump on it. If you want to, you could use two of these reindeer forms and glue them together, but that's bulky and I didn't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some hot glue on here and flip it over and glue it down. Okay, now let me, I'm just going to hold this up right quick to make sure that it's centered. Yeah, that looks good. Let's just lay the little darling down and whee, open your moss. This stuff can be rather difficult to work with. So, if you want to, you can dump this out into a large plastic bowl, use a spray bottle on a mister setting, and just spritz it with a little bit of water, and it will help with the dust and, and the dryness of this stuff. Yes, this stuff does make a mess, and the water will help that. So now this is what's going to take a while. I'm just going to start putting a little bit of hot glue here and there, and now we're going to cover this entire thing, both sides, mind you. <laughs> We're going to cover both sides with this moss. And this, like I said, will take a while. So I'm just going to cover the whole thing there. Yeah, my burn is healing. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. I'm sick of wearing band-aids, so I'm not wearing band-aids in this one. This is where my oven turned against me. And apparently didn't want to cook what I was trying to put in it. And it attacked but it's okay because I won. <laughs> so over this whole thing, I'm just going to glue this moss down. And of course, I'm going to clean off my table when I come back. Well, before I come back, I'm going to spray paint this planter over here. I'll pause the video and then I'll come back and I'll show you what we're going to do with this insulation and the little, the little stones and all that mess. Okay, so this is what my reindeer looks like so far. And you know what? Yeah, I know he looks like a mess. But you know what? Once you get the whole side, one side covered with all of your moss, flip it over and you see like how, how all of the moss is sticking out like this. All you do is take your scissors. Let's see if we can find a good area here. Oh, on his little hind quarters. Hold your scissors correctly. And then just go around it like that and trim off the excess and then the shape of the reindeer will really start to come through now when you put the the moss on this side you're really just going to have to be careful and just lay your scissors flat like this and just kind of feel your way around the form of the sign and just trim off the excess see and then when you flip him over there's a much more defined shape so just do that all the way around you know you have to be careful around here because, yeah, it could be tricky getting in all of these little areas right here. So I'm going to finish cleaning this up, and I'll go, and I'm going to cover this other side with the moss. Now, what we're going to do with this insulation, let me get this thing out of the way first, and let me get my, my little planter here, is, here we go. First, let's take a look at this. I mean, I really love the finish of this paint. It really looks like textured metal. And, you know, when I saw it, I'm like, you know what? It reminded me so much of my ex-mother-in-law because she was hammered most of the time. Anyway, now, you know what? You shouldn't think bad things about your mother-in-law, your ex-mother-in-law. Don't, don't sit there and, and think bad things because that's considered premeditation. But anyway, you're supposed to take the foam and to shake it for roughly one minute. And then you take the little nozzle and you just screw it on. This is wonderful to use around pipes under your house. If you have like um, a little gap around your windows or something where the air is coming in, you know, this works really nicely to fill in those little areas. Now you want to put something in here to weigh it down, which is why I said, you know, to use the stones or these little pebbles. Oh Lord, I'm making a mess. I'm knocking balls around everywhere. Okay. <laughs> There's balls everywhere. So yes, this has some of the moss on it. It doesn't matter because we're getting ready to cover all this stuff up with this insulation. Now you can use floral foam if you want to. Because basically all that we're doing here is we're just creating a base to stick the, um, the stake. Stick the stake! <laughs> That's on our reindeer. We're going to stick that down in here. 
and then we're also going to decorate around it. So you could use floral foam if you want to. I really like this stuff because it is going to completely fill up and give you a very solid base to uh, to work with. So after I shift the can, you just spray, spray. <laughs> you just screw the little nozzle on, and it's very loud. As you can see, it expands. It's going to keep expanding. Now you only want to fill your container up about halfway because it's going to keep expanding and expanding. Give it a few minutes after you fill it halfway up to see about how far it's going to expand. And you'll know that it's completely set up when you push on it with your fingers and it doesn't just sink into the stuff. It doesn't take that long. Uh, let's take a look at this. I was going to see... I know it doesn't really take very long. It's not really telling me that I see at the exact second how long it takes to set up. But it's not long at all because there's so much air in this. But just keep filling it up, filling it up. And I'm going to fill mine up to right around this little inner ring right here. Because I want to still be able to see the rim of the planter. So I'm just going to keep spraying this stuff in there. Letting it firm up. And I'm going to get back over here and finish working on my reindeer. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> And finish working on my reindeer and when this is ready and I have a reindeer ready they will come back and we'll put it all together and decorate it okay and my phone is deciding to mess up a little bit so I apologize if there's any jumps or anything in this video I'm looking at getting a new phone very soon but anyway it is now 24 hours later and this insulation really does not take that long to set up. Now, anybody that knows me personally knows that I like to restore houses. And I have restored homes before. And I use this spray insulation in that process. It dries really quickly. But because we were filling up this pot that is very deep, I let it set for 24 hours. And it did puff up quite a bit on top. All I did, I took a knife and I trimmed it down. And I left a little bit just so that you could see how easy this stuff is to trim. This is just an, an old knife. It's not even that sharp. You just put it into the foam, just a little bit of pressure, and it cuts it. So, you know, very, very simple to trim down and to shape however you want it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now with our little reindeer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I know this is hard to see on camera. I'm just going to pick and try to see where kind of the center is. I'm just going to pave a little bit of the way here with my knife. I love cutting into this stuff. <laughs> ASMR. I love cutting into this. So I'm just going to press this down in there. Let's see. Yeah, that looks okay to me. Just so that I can kind of see where the center is. So I know kind of where to not put a decoration or anything because I want to put some of these on before I put the reindeer on just so that it's easier to work with. So I have some more of this moss. For the reindeer, I used right at two bags. This is my third bag. So I'm going to start gluing some of that moss on the bottom for a base, not too thick. And then I'm going to take some of this potpourri. And I might use some of these because I want this to be really rustic looking. I'm going to use some of these to start decorating it with. So first off, let's take a look at this potpourri. I love cinnamon. Cinnamon is like one of my favorite smells. So should I just rip it open? Yes, I'm just going to cut this darn thing open. And then I'm going to pour it out into this bowl. I have plenty of resealable bags that I could put this stuff in. Now I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, here we are. <clears throat> okay. Alrighty. Oh, come out. There we are. Okay, so we have some of these with glitter on it. That's pretty. Where did that star go? I really want that star. Where did the star go? It's down in here somewhere. I'll find it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. I want all of these kind of up towards the top somewhere because those are the prettiest. But anyway, now all I'm going to do is just start using my hot glue that is stuck on a bag. I'm just going to start gluing in some of this moss. Just like this. And again, this is time consuming, I know, but I think it's going to look really pretty when it's done. 
And another thing I'm thinking about is trying to add in some lights somehow. I think I want this base to be lit up. So I'm going to get a string of the lights from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put those around on the base here. And we'll see what that looks like. And I'm just going to play with that. And I'm not going to sit here and Miguel watch me glue stuff. How exciting is that? But anyway, I'm just going to pile on the moss. And then I'm going to put on a few of those decorations, the, the potpourri. And then we'll come back and take another look. Alrighty. So yes, I know this is hard to see. I'm doing the best I can here. But anyway, in the pot, I've got most of the moss and most of the decorations that I want in there. And I did take a pack of the Dollar Tree lights. I wish I could have got a hold of the kind with the green cord. But people are swarming my store today. And all I could find was one with the clear cord. So what I'm doing is just being very careful. And putting just a little bit of hot glue onto the lights. And then just sticking a little bit of moss on them. And yeah, these are LED lights. So, you know, they don't get incredibly hot. See? And there I'm covering up the cord right here, but the lights are still visible. Now I'm going to take a piece of Velcro and stick on the back of the battery pack. Ed takes the Velcro and stick on the back of the planner, and that way you can just you can just stick the battery pack to it. Or you can set it on the table. Whatever you want, but you know if you move it and the battery pack falls, it might dislodge some of your lights, which I think I'm going to run him. Just right through there for the time being because it's a little kind of towards the front here. Oops, and my reindeer's hitting the camera. I'm sorry. But that's all that I'm doing right now. And yes, you can paint the stake that the reindeer's on if you want to. I really didn't want to because I like red. Red is my Christmas color. And I picked that stake because it was red. So I didn't really want to cover it up too much. I kind of wanted that to show through. So basically all I'm doing here is I'm just going back and covering covering up the cord on the lights. Let me see if I can turn this around and continue working without whacking the camera. Oops, see, I got a lot to touch up over here. And I want this, I want this battery pack to sit on something so that it doesn't there, sit on that, that spool of ribbon. There you go. Sit there and behave. Now the bigger pieces of potpourri. Uh, these and the star and everything I have yet to put on. I kind of wanted to do that last because I wanted them to kind of, you know, have like a, a show place <laughs> on the front of this thing. So I'm going to do that last. And I'm just going to go around and touch up. I don't know if I want to use that, um, the ribbon. Oh gosh, y'all know it. Raffia. That's what I call it anyway. I don't know if I want to use that in any form. I just kind of make stuff up as I go. But my inspiration from this came from a Google search. I was looking for a Christmas topiary, and that's what I typed into Google. And it brought up, you know, like your standard round ones, Christmas tree shaped ones. And then I saw a reindeer one. And it looked something like this, but the reindeer on that one lit up. And the base didn't. I don't think the base did. But anyway, if you Google reindeer topiary, you'll probably see the one that I was talking about. The reindeer it was all lit up. But um, I like it like this. I do not want the reindeer to be lit up. So just the base. Okay, and I think that looks pretty good. Oh, no, I'm missing a spot over here. There we go. I think that's all pretty well hidden. Another um, thing that you can do if you want to to help cover up the glitteriness on the reindeer is you can paint it before you start putting your moss on if you want to. Now the thing with that is, depending on the type of paint you use, when you paint over the, the glitter board of the reindeer and then you stick the moss on, if a kid or an animal should play with it, sometimes the paint can crack and it will just flake off in big pieces and, um, and you're going to ruin your reindeer. I found that the hot glue really adheres to it really well. So that's why I just went straight on sticking the moss on it. You could paint yours if you want to. But, um, because it is a little bit difficult trying to cover up all the glittery parts with the moss and not getting them to show through. All right, so I think I'm done with that. I'm just going to go back now and I'm going to stick on these big pieces of potpourri kind of towards in the front. And I might put a few more things on there. Um, but I think that's it. 
y'all know how I am. Sometimes I'm making stuff. I'm making stuff and um, things just pop into my head. And I add them on, add them on, add them on. So we'll see how this pans out when I'm done with it. But y'all have already seen it at the very beginning of the video. So y'all know what I decided to do with it. I might even tie a bow or something around the reindeer's neck. I don't know yet. Might put um, a red jingle bell on his nose. Something. Just to spruce him up a little bit. But anyway, I'll work on that. And like I said, y'all see that at the very beginning of the video. So if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.